Mary Scott here, interpretive ranger, Sleeping Bear Dunes National Lakeshore. We're in front of the inn. Okay, this is DH Day's room, his bedroom and his office. The reason DH Day has his room and office here is so that he can keep an eye on shipping, the main highway where the dock is, loading and unloading freight, passengers, and the modern section of town, the general store, the generator building. Yes, Glenhaven had power much before the rest of Leelanau County did. Thanks to D.H. Day owning one of Thomas Edison's first generators. In fact, the generator is still being stored by the National Park Service. And this is a nice spot, too, in this room to give you a little bit more history of D.H. Day. He came to this town in 1878, fell in love with the innkeeper's daughter eventually, and family story. Everyone was downstairs in the kitchen. In the kitchen, they were calling Easter eggs. And D.H. Day looked at the little girl's father, he's 28 years old, and asked for her hand in marriage. And the father, knowing the Ferrant women, his name was William Ferrant, said, when she's of age, if she decides she wants to marry you, that'll be her choice. That's not mine. Little Eva was only about eight or nine years old at the time. So when we're talking history, we're not talking just about old buildings and people of the past. We're talking about the culture of a long time ago. So even culture has historical developments and how much have we changed? How much has our society changed from that time? She was eight or nine years old. She wanted a good education. She said no, she's gonna to go to school. Went to school, graduated. Here she is, 16 years old. She's a graduate. She's a teacher. She has a career. And she's still saying no to DH Day. She's an old maid, basically. She's becoming an old maid. By the time she was 19, she finally said yes. And one of the ways that she did say yes is so that she could still continue some kind of independent career. D.H. Day had her managing the general store. Nine kids later, they were still living at the general store.